Alrighty. So you've somehow got Kaylee Linux to run on your laptop. And now you're sitting in your room, wearing a hoodie in 40 degrees Celsius. Because clearly, that's what elite hackers do, right? Your favorite TV show is Mr. Robot. And you think you're Edward Snowden just because you scanned your dumb printer on localhost. You've installed Max Fisher on your collie, and now you think you can hack into anyone's webcam. You're even thinking about writing your own WannaCry malware and launching attacks like Stuxnet. You genuinely believe you're a top-tier member of Anonymous, and you're probably considering joining some hacktivist group on Discord right now. Well, this, my friend, is skidding. Skid, or script kitty, is what we call people who run other people's tools and think they've made it. They copy-paste commands from a four-year-old Reddit thread, end up nuking their own system, and call it part of the learning process. Then they jump to the next fishy GitHub repo, run some random script without even understanding what it does, and feel like they've unlocked the matrix. They don't write code, they just execute it. And in their head, they don't need to write code, because the code obeys them. Actual hackers? Yeah, they write those scripts skids run blindly. They understand how stuff works, they reverse engineer, they plan, they study. Now you might be thinking, okay, if this ain't hacking, then what the hell is hacking? How do I actually become a good hacker? Well, I've got you. To be a hacker, it's not just about running shady scripts from GitHub. You've got to know how to troubleshoot problems. Yes, hackers do run scripts, but they read them. They understand them. They can make changes in the script because they know how to code. When something breaks, they don't cry about it and move on to find the next script. They face the error, debug it, fix it, and move forward. That's the difference between a hacker and a skid. A hacker learns from the error. A skid runs from it. They see one red error line in their terminal and instantly, hey, script's trash. Let me go hunt another one. Bro, that ain't hacking. That's panic-driven Googling. So you want to start your hacking journey? Cool. First, touch some basic computer science, like actually understand how computers work. Then learn some programming. Yeah, Python is nice, but pick anything. Just stop flexing with hello world screenshots. Next up, networking. Because if you don't know how TCP IP works, what are you even hacking, bro? Then comes Linux. Learn to use the terminal without crying. Know your way around the file system. After that, jump on platforms like Try Hack Me or Hack the Box to get some real hands-on skills. But here's the plot twist. Most people skip all that. They jump straight into Try Hack Me, copy-paste some walkthrough, get a flag, and suddenly they're the next anonymous. Chill out. That's not hacking. That's premium skidding. Another L people take is wasting months just looking for resources instead of actually learning. That's why I made a beginner's guide to ethical hacking. A complete roadmap tells you what to learn, what not to touch, and where to get the good stuff. Buy it once, 50% off till June 1st. Thank you for watching. Now stop flexing and start learning.